press the button to begin. Hi students. It's me, Professor Circuit Board. Are you ready to join me on an adventure? Awesome, let's go. Now let's choose our adventure. Oh, transistors. Good choice. Transistors act as the main components for constructing logic gates. They amplify and control electrical signals to perform logical operations. They can be considered the decision makers of a circuit and allow for several applications. A transistor can be thought of as two diodes put together, creating a large P and N junction which determines the flow of current. Like a switch. In this case, a P and P transistor is shown. Here, we can see the three main components. The base, collector, and emitter, based on its bias, we can control the flow of current. Our transistor stopped working, so the town lost all the energy. We must go into the deep realm of transistors in order to bring back energy to circuit town. Wow! Our first logic gate but oh no, it's locked. There must be a way to open this door. Oh look! We must answer the table of truth in order to get through. Will you help me? Oh! This looks a bit tricky. Let's see what the first answer could be. Since the switches are in series but none of them are on. I think the first value is zero. Then zero again. One more time. Now finally, one. This is because we need switch one and switch two to be on in order for the light to turn on. Woohoo we got the key. Let's get out of here. Oh geez, another gate. But this time it says or. Let's answer this truth table in order to get our energy back. Similar to last time I think it's zero. This is because we need at least one of the switches to be turned on to have current flow. Now that switch A is on, I have a good feeling that the light will be on. Now the same applies to switch B. Now that both switches are on, we can safely say that the light output will be one. Yes checkmate. We are getting closer, I just know it. Oh no, what is this, a not gate? Please help me solve this so we can beat this game. Bring it on. Hum seems easy enough. Perfect. I knew it was the inverse. That wasn't so hard. Let's go before it's too late. Phew, almost done. All we have to do now is flip our switch. Yes, we did it. We brought back our power. Thanks for your help. It looks brighter than ever here in Circuit Town. Thanks for everything. Now, let's recap what we learned. Our transistor adventure has taken us on an exciting journey into the world of logic gates and transistors. Through hands-on learning and the construction of circuits on a breadboard, we witnessed how transistors act as switches controlling the flow of current to perform logical operations. These photos of the circuit board and schematics provided valuable insights into the physical implementation of these gates, solidifying our understanding of their operation. Game on.
over. Thanks for joining. Bye-bye.